Looking at number 9 in 9.4, Applications of Systems of Equations. This is a lot like number 3. Uh, there's a video for that one. I'm going to do it slightly differently, just in case this is the way you would like to do the problem. Um, but as I read through this, I, I see that I'm looking for how long did the Charles travel at both rates. Okay, So I'm going to let x equal the... Um, the first part or the 53 mile per hour part and I'm going to let y equal the 59 mile per hour part. So remember that x and y are, are hours. Okay. So I'm going to think about the hours here and I know that the x plus y has to be the total time of the trip, and the total time of the trip is 3.5 hours. Okay. Now, thinking back to rate times time, I know that for the first part of the trip, or this 53 miles per hour, I got the rate is 53, and the time is, is x. So that is equal to the distance. I'll call that distance of the first part. Then I have rate times time, which is 59 time, times y, which I'll call that the second part of the trip. Well, what do I know about these two distances here? Those two distances equal 200.5 miles. Okay, so I'm going to write my equation. Uh, for distance right below hours here. I have 53x and you can already see the matrix if you've been practicing these 59y equals 200.5. Okay, My matrix is 1, 1, 3.5 59, 1, 59, 200.5 Perform a ref on that, and what I get is one zero one and one and two point five. Okay, so what does this mean right here? Okay, you have to go back to the, look at the problem. This is x and this is y, so we have one hour, one hour at 53 miles per hour and 2.5 hours at 59 miles per hour. Okay. All right, so hopefully you found that helpful and we'll look at the next problem, um, number 10. Thanks.